From the 2013 International CES in Las Vegas, this is another Into Tomorrow ITTV special report. The next generation of open ear headphones has arrived and our next guest has them for us. Some really unique opportunities here. You're going to want to check this out, especially if you're driving, listening on the radio right now and you can't see the video, have no fear. When you have time, swing by intotomorrow.com and check out not only the video of our next guest and what we're about to show you, but all the videos we've uploaded with other guests, with our video snacks that uh, Ed and Chris and the others have been working very hard all week to snag and edit and post and get them up there for you. And, of course, also our highlight video. Lots of cool stuff. It's all there for you at intotomorrow.com. But Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer of a company called Aftershocks is Dennis Tossig. Hey, Dennis, how are you? Fine, Dave. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, you're showing some pretty fun things here at CES. Let's get right into it. We are. We have the second generation, uh, less than one year old, but the second generation nonetheless. We learned a lot from our consumers, but we have open-ear headphones. Uh, these do not sit in your ears or on your ears. Like the ones we put on your head now to do right. this interview. <laughs> right. They sit on your cheekbones in front of your ears. Ah. ah. And on they your cheekbones. But now that's cheekbones. not my ears, so how do I hear this stuff? You hear by bone conduction technology. Uh, our company, uh, the, the sound actually vibrates through your cheekbones into your inner ear, into your brain, and you hear sounds just the way you would as if you were talking yourself. That's uh -huh. how you hear yourself speak. When you plug your ears, you talk, you still hear yourself speak. Yeah. The same principle with this uh, technology originally developed for the military, uh, used, uh, it's been developed in, and perfected over the last 12 years, used by special forces all over the world and SWAT teams all over the world because they have to stay in touch with command, yet sure. keep their ears open to hear the bad guys. And in this case, as consumers, we're keeping our ears open to hear anything around us, uh, to maybe even be in traffic, because most states outlaw earbuds or headphones on both ears. Here, there's nothing on or in your ear. Absolutely. I have the new buzzword is situational awareness. Oh. Yeah, how about that? Ah, big uh, words. And it's, <laughs> it's very important when you're walking, running, biking, to be able to hear traffic, warning noises, or in case of uh, in Miami, uh, the, guy, the, the gun cocking in back of you. Hey, um, now, 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 now. Yeah. That's just that's when Miami Vice was running. Oh. You know, that's <laughs> <a> okay. <laughs> um, but it, it is very important to stay aware of, of your surroundings. Now, uh, it's uh, totally, uh, and, and the other, the byproduct of this is there is nothing in your ear. Yeah. And it's yeah. far more comfortable than earbuds. Now, on your cheekbones, are we we're hearing the same music quality uh, that we would hear if we had something it, in or on our ear? It's pretty good. Yeah. It's absolutely good. The, the 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 best way to do it is to try it. That's Most true. And we I call it the typical customer reaction arc. It's a Oh, uh, what are these? And then it's the oh my god. Yeah, the OMG factor yeah. jumps right in I because they don't look like they're going to do as good a job of sound as they are. And I have tried them, yeah. and they're amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. Now, now I will be perfectly honest with you, Dave. Be, but they're not an audiophile experience. If you're a true audiophile, but you're not going to take your $600 audiophile headphones for a run in the park or a, a bike ride. Generally not, because right. they might not last on you. Right, they, <laughs> and they'd be very uncomfortable. So anyway, these are these are for situation any any experience where you need situational awareness. Gotcha. Okay. Driving, walking, biking, hiking. And, and you've got different versions of them as well, Yes, right? we do. Tell there's me about that. There's three versions. Uh, th the basic version just plays music. There's a version that looks just like this. It has a built-in uh, built mic so you can make and take phone calls. And then we have what we're announcing this year, uh, which this product and this product both won CES Innovation Awards. Great. The Bluetooth device. Nice. Completely wireless. It's a beautiful looking product and uh, it works th but the same way. There's dual suspension transducers in here, conduct sound through your cheekbone. These sit in front of your ear again, just just like the other ones. And these are the Aftershocks Blues because it's Bluetooth. Bluetooth, right. Sweet. So there's no wire to deal with or worry about, and right. yet you still also have controls, it looks like here. Right. The, the control on the back is for volume. Uh -huh. The control on this side answers your phone. 
Oh, okay. And on this side, you can play, pause, and ad advance your music. Oh, nice. Because you, you sometimes want to do that. Yeah, of course, yeah, sometimes, quite yeah. often, as a matter of yeah. fact. And the same thing. They just rest on your cheekbones, and uh, you're getting the sound that right. way. And this is that there was a huge technological challenge because the bone conduction produces feedback, and we have such a tiny little mic in here mm -hmm. that very close to your bones that we used a lot of software I'll bet. to solve the problem. Wow, and solve the problem you did because yep. they do sound awesome. you got to check them out at uh, hopefully stores nearby you or however you can check Available them. Available at Amazon.com, our website, Aftershocks.com. Uh, uh, Airport Wireless, uh, okay. REI Sports, Fred Meyer. There's, there's a, a whole list. bunch of places yeah. to check them out. And in the meantime, visit their site. It's aftershocks. It's which is after s h o k z dot com, and we'll link you there too. Just visit us at intotomorrow.com. Dennis, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, say hi to Kim and all your team uh, at Aftershocks. I will, Dave. And thanks, and survive the show. Please. Yeah, well, thank you. You too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, continue to do a good job. Back with more from CES. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow. Visit intotomorrow.com.